so I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about Negan and his character in season nine and how I feel like Angela Kang, AMC, and The Walking Dead really took a lot of major steps in order to redeem Negan's character after the last couple of seasons of The Walking Dead. Let's jump right into it. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Okay, first and foremost, I've seen a lot of people talking about The Walking Dead, Negan's character, and the fact that this guy cannot be redeemed based off of everything that we've seen over the last couple of seasons. And while I understand where that sentiment comes from, he bashed in Glenn and Abraham's head. He said that he didn't like it when he obviously enjoyed it. He acted as a dictator, keeping virtually slaves in his own compartment, working solely for him. Took several wives by his own will and essentially rape them. There's a lot to hate about this character, but still, I feel like they're doing the best they can to redeem him and make sure that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is in it for the long haul, as he's talked about multiple times in interviews about The Walking Dead. And even though that seemed like a huge job, I feel like The Walking Dead did it perfectly, and here's how. Okay, first off, they stopped focusing on Negan almost throughout the entirety of the season. He only had a handful of scenes, he was only in a handful of episodes, and he was never the full weight of any given episode. I mean, the biggest episode that he had was also Rick Grimes' last episode in this season. And you really can't underscore this enough because Negan took up so much screen time, was such a presence in the last couple of seasons, and for a lot of fans, myself included, was a little bit obnoxious. Yes, Jeffrey Dean Morgan played him to perfection, but his lines are cringeworthy, even if they're delivered by the most sincere and charismatic actor in the entire series, it just didn't feel right. It was important for The Walking Dead to take this season to focus away from Negan, keeping him in the focus of major characters, but allowing other characters, situations, events, and just general happenings to take precedent over the main story. By not focusing on Negan, it's made us want him more and appreciate the scenes that we got with him throughout season 9 and hopefully into season 10. Number two, the interactions and discussions between Negan and Rick at the beginning of the season. It shows us that during the months after the All Out War arc, Negan is still in somewhat of a mindset, thinking that he's going to get out and things are going to go back to his own way. He's not over this concept of what he had and what he can get back as long as he gets out and Rick's way of life just crumbles apart and falls apart at some point in the near future. That's a big step and one of the reasons we need those scenes is because it shows just how much he grows not only from the end of season 8 but also the beginning of season 9 and throughout the time skips. Speaking of time skips, number three, I feel like the time skips were necessary for Negan. In fact, more necessary and more effective than they were in the comic books. In the comic books, you only got about 18 months to two years in between All Out War and the introduction of The Whisperers. In The Walking Dead television show, however, you have huge time skips. You have 18 months and then you have six years. By the time we got to the season finale of The Walking Dead season nine, we had Negan having spent the vast majority of the time in The Walking Dead universe in a cell. This guy has been humbled to no end. And we saw that plainly displayed for us in episode five when Maggie came to him. So number four is when Maggie went to go assassinate Negan. So this was a payoff of something that was introduced to us at the last episode of season eight of The Walking Dead. This idea that Maggie Ree was not okay with what Rick decided to do with Negan at the end of season eight, outside of anyone else's consent or begging to the opposite, keeping Negan alive and allowing him to live in that cell as a symbol of what the future could be instead of killing him for all the atrocities that he has committed. Maggie and Daryl tricking Rick, Maggie talking to Michonne saying that Michonne wouldn't take this lying down the same way that she has for as long if Negan was the one who killed Carl or killed anyone else that she cared about. And being just one swift blow away from killing Negan, being tormented by her, accused, made fun of, and everything that he was trying to do in order to make her kill him did not work. We got to see him break down and see that even though he had been talking to Rick earlier in the season, even though he seemed confident on the outside, he was dead inside. He was just completely outside of his own element, and he wanted to be taken from this world so he can go see his wife, so he can be free of the torment of being locked up and put up as a symbol. He realized at some point even though he wasn't willing to believe it, as we'll get to later on in this video, he realized that he was never going to get out, and the best way out was having someone who wanted to kill him, who he thought deserved to kill him, 
take him out for good. And that's why Maggie spared him. We got to see for the very first time just how vulnerable Negan could be. Moving on, if we're going to be talking about what changed Negan or how season 9 changed Negan and made him more of a sympathetic character, you cannot look further than Judith after the six-year time skip. I know a lot of people were mad when they killed off Carl in season 8, but I've always argued that Carl would have ruined the entire storyline of season 9 of The Walking Dead just because of how long that we had stayed with Chandler Riggs. And the idea that this kid was not how old he should have been. I mean, obviously, we probably still would have had the six-year time skip, and that would have panned out in kind of the same way, but still, Chandler Riggs' character, for as long as we had known him, wouldn't have made the same mistakes, and seeing Negan interact with Chandler Riggs the same way seeing Chandler Riggs as Carl Grimes interact with Lydia and the Whispers after Rick Grimes' death, there just wouldn't have been as much heart or emotional investment in it. Henry was easier to digest as an audience that he was falling in love with Lydia and he was willing to put that over everybody in his group and the society around him. He didn't understand the greater implications of what would come from him pursuing this girl and taking major risks in order to save her. If it was Carl, after everything that we had seen, it wouldn't have made any sense. I think the same goes for the older Judith character talking to Negan in season 9. Yes, the previous seasons of The Walking Dead did as much as they could in order to build Negan and Carl's relationship, but given the fact that Carl was there for the All Out War arc, and he remembers everything that Negan did to all of his friends, his dad, and everyone in all these communities, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal for Negan to open up to Carl and talk to him about what happened. The very fact that he was able to tell Judith, who wouldn't have been able to remember anything going on during that time period, that all of this happened and he opened up about everything that he did, including killing Abraham and Glenn and everything Rick and everyone else did, being completely truthful to her, really represents a new form of Negan as a character and one that I feel like a lot of fans are willing to get behind. You know, back when they did kill off Carl, a lot of people were talking about how this was a bad idea and they were never going to recover, but taking Carl's character and splitting him down the middle between Judith and Henry I feel like really helped not only the Whisper arc, but even the redemption arc for Negan in that way. Finally, I feel like the last two points of this video can be made within the same point. With the last episode of Season 9 of The Walking Dead, we got to see Negan having lost absolutely zero steps with his witty remarks and humor, going after Eugene, Gabriel, and almost everybody else that he was forced to stay with during the snowstorm. I like this because Negan, even though he has made substantial changes to his character and he has turned into more of a good guy now, has not lost any part of his character that made him special in the first couple seasons in which he was introduced within the show. Next, because of the major focus on Negan and Judith's relationship throughout this season, it made his rescue of Judith all that more impactful, going after her when nobody else would as she left to find Dog. And I feel like a lot of people might write Negan's character off, might feel like he's incapable of any type of redemption or any legitimate redemption within the world of The Walking Dead because of everything that he's done in the past. But because of Judith and because of the way that we got to see him break down and be at his worst self within Season 9, not focusing on him nearly as much, but still retaining what makes him a unique and genuine character, unlike almost any other character within The Walking Dead, I feel like Angela King and AMC and the entire crew behind The Walking Dead really did the best job possible in order to redeem Negan as a character. And considering the fact that if Jeffrey Dean Morgan is telling the truth and he's in The Walking Dead for the long haul, this is going to be a major bonus for any Walking Dead fan in the next coming seasons of The Walking Dead. Knowing that we have this character who is now a bona fide good guy, or at least starting to become a bona fide good guy, is going to be awesome once we have to start getting rid of major characters like Michonne or anybody else in the future of the series. I know Negan disappears in the comics, he doesn't have to in the television show, and they can use his character to greater effect in that regard, and they can continue to use him not only as a main character of the television show, but also as a leader and one of the leads in the near future. This to me, more than anything else, would represent the culmination of what Rick Grimes was trying to teach, what he learned through Carl's death, and what the future of the show can really be like. I'm really excited for this. I hope everyone else is really excited for Negan to join the main cast in the next couple seasons and maybe even be the leader of Alexandria, the Hilltop, maybe another community, or what they might do. I don't know. 
but it's going to be really interesting to see. Hope everyone has enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comment section below whether you think they did their best to redeem Negan as a character, or do you think he is still irredeemable at this point? Like, has he not done enough? Have we not seen enough with his character? Should they not be treating him as nicely as they have throughout Season 9? or anything else that I missed in this breakdown video. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Also, go down to the description section below, hit that link, and go follow me on Twitter where we can talk about The Walking Dead, anything else I cover on this channel, anything I cover on my other channel, or just have a conversation. It's been real.